What's good? Welcome back to my channel. All right, I got a good topic for y'all today. Um, one of my subscribers sent me an email telling me that his girl that he was dealing with basically sent him a text saying that she was messing with somebody else and she wanted to sever ties with him, cut things off, and move on. Now he said this was real random. I'm not gonna get into the whole email, but he said this was real random. It was like out of the blue. He's with her for like two years. And then a couple of weeks later, after she does that, she hits him back and she's like, yo, listen, I wanna be with you. I made a mistake and it's you I want. So basically he's asking me, what should he do? Well, let's get into this right now. If you're new to the channel, I'm Boss Money Bates and this, is expensive facts. All right. So basically, in a nutshell, Shorty told him that she stepped out on him, which would lead me to believe, and just like I explained to him, that if she stepped out on you, she's been stepping out on you. Let's go on to him. He explained to me that he's that he's been basically taking care of her. She wasn't living with him, but he's basically supporting her. He's paying a phone bill, helping her with bills. He's also telling me he helped her with traveling expenses. Now, fellas, I always tell you guys, man, you have to pay attention to the signs. That's number one. You have to, number one, you have to pay attention to the signs. I told you that a lot of females right now in days are out here using you for your money. And this is a prime example. When you overextend yourself, when you overextend your funds, when you overextend your time, females are out here really on some different shit. They want some different shit now. They are truly savages right now. They moving heartlessly right now. So you really have to pay attention. You gotta pay attention, man. And the reason they moving like this because they're trying to impress a group of people. It might be their friends. It might be people on social media, but when you got somebody who's trying to impress somebody, they're dangerous. And that's what's going on right now. They're in competition with us. So it, that makes them even more dangerous because it's like, yo, listen, man, I have to do this before he does this, or I have to do this before he does this. And this is what's going on and it's going on and on and on. And they're in your pocket. They're taking up your time when you could be doing other things. Now to you, fellas, what you have to understand is you guys cannot be weak at all. I always say this is a purpose-driven channel. You got to get on your purpose and you have to become that alpha. You have to become that if you are not that already. No bullshit. Because if you were more focused on you, you wouldn't be 100% focused on her. You got to focus more on yourself. You have to get more confidence in yourself. Now moving along, like I said, he said she texted him and told him that she was cheating on him and she wanted to leave him for another dude. If she had the, if she had the balls after two years to tell you that, and which is a good thing, it's good to let me know what's going on. Let me know what's going on because maybe this dude was like, yo, listen, man, it's about that time for you to be with me. And it sucks for him on that end because if she did it to you nine times out of ten, she going to do it to him, too. So that's a wonderful thing for her telling you. But if she told you this and you were even questioning going back, then that's a problem. And now we're going to the problem. The problem is this. If you're thinking that, OK, after two years. You're dealing with her now. What the good thing is, you guys wasn't living. The good thing was, you guys wasn't living with each other. You didn't have too much invested in it. The only thing you had invested in it was time, and she spent a lot of your money. So you can walk away from the situation and you can be okay. You ain't get married. You don't have to walk away with a divorce or paying alimony you can walk away so you have the opportunity to walk away my man walk the fuck away walk away it's no it makes no sense and you going backwards 
I never go backwards. What's meant for me is meant for me. What's meant for me will stay with me through the times, through the trial, through everything. It'll stay with me. There's no need for you to go backwards because what going backwards is going to do is it's going to put you in the same situation because what she's doing is she's testing you. And I always tell you that they are going to test you. They're going to test you at all times. At all times, they are going to test you, man. She's saying, damn, I left this dude. He was paying for everything. I'm with this dude over here. He might not be paying as much, but his dick is better than yours. Let's be real. Let's be real. She ain't just leaving because he's talking cool. <laughs> Shit, he knocking the bottom out of that. Now she can get a two for one. She can get that. If she can come back to you. She got him knocking the bottom out of it. She got you paying for everything. And then you know what you're going to start doing? You're going to start funding dates for him. Paying for the telly for him. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen it before, man. I live this shit. You're going to be paying for the telly for him. In them days when she ain't with you because you don't live together, she's going to be topping them. <laughs> bopping them. Getting on that, riding that. And you just looking stupid. What I'm telling you to do is, fellas, you got to pay attention to the signs. When you see these signs, you got to make your move. Now is your chance to make the move, man. Make the move. Leave her alone. You have a chance to block her on everything. Block her on social media. Block her in your phone. Get her out of your life. It's seeming to me that your confidence is low. Fellas, you have to build your confidence up. You can't move around with low confidence. Low confidence allows people to manipulate you. Low confidence allows you to be put in, low confidence allows you to be put in situations that you would never be put in if you had high confidence. If you was like, I ain't fucking with you. We ain't doing this like that. My confidence is up here. And you have to grab that confidence. Because when you don't have that confidence, people walk over you. And they see you don't have that confidence. She knows. Oh shit, I'm probably giving him the best box that he ever had. She knows. Oh shit, I might be the best looking female that he ever had. And he'll do anything for me. And you, you like, oh, I'll, I'll pay for everything. Here, don't, come on, come over here. Sit down. Daddy has it. Nah, man, it don't go like that, man. Get your confidence back. Get your name back. Listen, fellas. You have to be comfortable with being you. Until you were comfortable with being you, leave these Jezebels alone, man. Need I say more? I'm Boss Money Base, and this is expensive. As expensive could get, and that ain't no bullshit, nigga.